In today's video, I have four Dollar Tree Easter DIYs. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Okay friends, starting off with a super simple DIY, I take this terracotta pot from Dollar Tree and originally I was going to put this DIY like maybe second or third, but me and, me and my friend have a bet of which DIY you guys are going to like best. So I put this one first and all I did was take this ribbon from Walmart, I folded it in three and glued it. Then I glued it around the bottom or you know the top underneath the top lip of the terracotta pot and then once I had that glued down then I went in with my mini chip brush some of my caviar Dixie Belle paint the Dixie Belle link is in the description box below if you just click the title of this video a box will appear and that's will that is where you will find all that information so once I was done with the black then of course I went in with the white which I I wish I would have just stuck with white so if you do this DIY, it's totally your preference. Then I made a quadruple jute bow. And if you guys have never seen my bow tutorial, I will leave that linked in the cards in the right hand corner. I show you guys how to make 11 different bows, including my little finger bow. And then last but not least, the, this last part is really just decorating the inside. I took some lamb's ear and I shoved it down in there. And then I just took these carrots from Dollar Tree. I took them out of the package and arranged them inside as well. And then I like to take my extra picks like the edges um, that I don't use and then if you saw those little wooden bunny bunnies I just put a little bit of hot glue on the back and then I like to use an extra pick that way when I stick it down into the pot with the greenery you're not gonna be able to see that stick. So I did that for two. I also added some extra greenery. I love this DIY so much. Let me know what you guys think. So if you guys would stop, take a minute to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel to grow and helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Okay friends, moving on to DIY number two. This is also another super simple DIY and all you need to do is take some paint of choice. You can use acrylic, you can use chalk paint. Now I have found that chalk paint works the best for this, but again, it's totally your preference. Um, I, I do believe you can make chalk paint as well. Don't, uh, actually I know you can. I know there's a bunch of tutorials, but I ain't got time for all that, so I just buy mine. But anyway, I use my Caviar Dixie Belt chalk paint as well as some baking soda, and I mix that together until I have a really nice, smooth consistency. Now, I uploaded this to Instagram, TikTok, and um, my YouTube shorts, and I keep getting questions of why I add the baking soda. Now, I do that because I want this to be a very smooth surface. Now, in the end, don't do this you guys do not use a heat gun and if you are going to use it really far away because it shrinks down the styrofoam and then basically I just wasted a step so I added the baking soda for no reason because using the heat gun brought out all of those little divots anyway so here is where the magic comes in. So I saw this recently on Instagram and I absolutely fell in love with this technique. It's so easy. This stuff is called rub and buff and it makes really anything that you can like rub this into look like whatever color you get. Now there's so many different ones to choose from and I will have as many affordable options as I can find on Amazon linked in my Amazon store in the description box below so if you would like to get this for yourself then you're more than welcome to check that out um, but I do just take this rub and buff with an old makeup brush and I just kind of work it in this bunny kind of like in a swirling motion now I've seen people do this with their finger but it's really strong, it stinks, and I just prefer to use like a brush or something, but if you wanna use your finger, then you go ahead. Um, but anyway, I think it's just amazing 
how realistic this looks. So the color that I went with is the antique gold. And then once I was done covering my entire bunny, I just kind of look at it to make sure that I'm satisfied with the way that it looks. I then go in with my caviar Dixie Belle paint once again and a very small brush. And I just kind of go along those details to kind of make them stand out more. If you've ever seen like antique brass or antique gold, then, you know, in those little details or divots, whatever you want to call it, um, it is that darker color. So I just wanted this to look as realistic as possible. So once I was satisfied, then I kind of went in and blended it with the uh, brush that I used to apply the rub and buff. Um, but this step is totally optional. If you don't like the way that it looks, then skip. And literally, you guys, that was it. Look how easy that was to achieve this super high-end look. Now, again, unfortunately, I was impatient. I should have let this air dry or used a blow dryer. If you see on this side, it looks much better because I didn't get as close with the heat as I did on this side. So just be aware of that. Um, I know that if you guys do this and you let it air dry, it will look really realistic. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Okay friends, now this is a DIY for my daughters. I wasn't too sure if I was gonna share it, but here we go. So this was my idea in the haul that I showed you guys. I don't even know if I came out with this haul yet. Good Lord, help us all. <laughs> anyway, um, if I didn't, then this will be coming this week. But anyway, I showed this bunny wreath in a haul and I sh said that I got all this tool to make this wreath. I have this idea in my head. So I take off the tag from the bunny wreath from Dollar Tree. I also got, I believe, nine rolls of tool from Dollar Tree. And all I did was take a flap off of a box, fold it in half, and then I just wrapped all of my rolls of tool around the cardboard. Now, when I went to cut it, I made sure that I cut on the side that had the opening on the flap. That way I could fit my scissors through there really nicely. And that way you have even cuts for all your pieces. And then once all your pieces are cut, now I made sure just to do the three rolls first to make sure that the length was good and everything, and it was. And I don't think you can really have like too, too short as long as you don't, again, cut them too, too short. But um, once I was done cutting the first set, then all I did was just wrap it around my finger in half. Then I took the loop and fed it under that middle bar and then I took the ends and fed it through the loop and made a knot. I did that all the way around this wreath, alternating the colors, making sure that they all look nice and even and they're not like too far spaced or too close together. If you guys are not following me on Instagram or TikTok, definitely check me out at All Things Crafty too, all one word. As you could see there, I was just going live as I was filming. I think that's really fun to do. I've been going live over there like almost every day just to say hi, just to chat. So if you guys want more behind the scenes and personal content, definitely come over on Instagram is where I post most. <laughs> <laughs> I was a poet and didn't know it, but um, yeah, check me out on the other platforms to get daily content. So anyway, once I was done with all of the tool, then I took some nautical rope from Dollar Tree and originally I was going to do the same thing. So I separated the pieces after I cut the end and then I was going to do kind of like the boho thing around the edge. But from where I was standing, I didn't really like it. And now that I'm looking at it from this angle, I actually did like it. So I don't know. I might try that in the future. But for this project, I ended up scrapping that idea, taking the nautical rope and just gluing it right around that top net. Yeah, that top edge. <laughs> that top edge. And I just wanted to cover up the knots. And then I go around a second time to cover up that inside bar. Now, 
Now I did just want to mention for the second layer, I made sure to glue on the inside of the first layer of rope because if you try to glue directly to the bar, you're going to have glue everywhere. So just glue it to that inside piece and then flip it over and then you can glue the bar down to your nautical rope. Now beware when you do this, your rope might roll away from where you wanted it, which is what I noticed after I put on the second layer. So I would just suggest, I actually like the way the thicker jute looks around this. Now, I know there's a different term for it. I'm just having a brain fart. Um, but if you don't like the way that the thicker jute looks, then I would just suggest to put your nautical rope further back a little bit on the knots, if that makes sense. So I just glue the nautical or the thick jute around the edge of the nautical rope and then I secure that with some hot glue after I cut it down even with the first piece that I put down. And then to finish this off, I recently got this ribbon at Dollar Tree, this little bunny ribbon. I thought that it went perfect with this wreath since it had, you know, blue, purple, and pink in it. Now, I do wish I got the yellow tool, but my daughter loves the cotton candy colors so that's what my thought was but I do think it would look super cute with the yellow but anyway I cut a piece of the ribbon from Dollar Tree and then I also had this I don't really know what you want to call it jute or um, burlap ribbon I don't really know but I also cut a piece and then folded it into a bow two times the first ribbon as well as the second one and then I kind of laid them down on top of each other and then I um, tied them together with a piece of jute to finish it off I just kind of fluff them up and then I cut dovetails in the top ribbon and then I cut the jute in the back and glued it to the top kind of on an angle of the ear. I then take some picks from Dollar Tree and I just cut off some greenery and then I glue them down on either side of the bow. Okay guys, now I honestly was going to stop here. That's why I'm showing it to you. And then when I had it hanging, I felt that it was just missing something. So I took one of these wooden planks from Dollar Tree as well as my Voodoo Dixie Bell stain. I love it because it's water-based. It doesn't stink. This is basically the stain that I make in a bottle and it it takes the guesswork out of it. You don't have to have ratios and how much do I put and all that. Plus, it looks amazing. So I just cover that with my Voodoo Stain. And then once that was dry, I went in with my Somebody Loves You Transfer. I love this so much. You get six different sayings. And always remember that all of the Chalk Couture products that I use will be linked in the description box below. So once I was done transferring on the wording, then I go in with that little pattern and I transfer that on on either side of the wording. Now to finish this off, all I did was take some hot glue on either side of this little sign and then I laid down my wreath and glued it down and literally you guys, it was that simple to make this wreath. Now it did take a little bit of time but I did not mind. I popped on a show and I actually loved doing it. It was super therapeutic. Now I don't know if I would do this like every day or all the time. However, every once in a while it is a really nice change from the DIYs that I usually do. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this DIY. Is this one your favorite or do you guys have a different favorite? Okay friends, we are on our last DIY and if you guys are still here, please leave me a bunny emoji in the comments or just say bunny just to let me know that you guys stick around for my entire video. So anyway, I take this wooden bunny from Dollar Tree and my manatee gray from Dixie Belle and I give this little bunny a really good coat 
leaving out the puff on the bottom as well as the ears. Next, I made sure to dry this really well because I'm going to go in with my cotton Dixie Belle paint and I'm just going to um, paint the puff as well as the ears. And I did give this three coats because that gray did shine through. So if you don't want to do three coats, then just be a little bit more careful around those details and then you won't have to put so many coats but I honestly didn't mind because it didn't take very long anyway. So really it's your preference and you might like the way that it looks shining through it. It did kind of look like a shadow. So I don't know, it's up to you, personal preference. But once I was finished painting the ears and the little puff, then I go in with my welcome spring transfer. Again, this is another 12 by 18 that you get six different designs in. And for the wording, I went in with my white paste obviously for the greenery I used my jade I believe it's called no eucalyptus I'm sorry eucalyptus chalk paste and then for the little flowers I went in with my peachy keen and I just transferred that on squeegeeing off the excess that way you don't waste any you put that back in your jar and then once you peel back that transfer look at that gorgeous image it never gets old and once again, all of the Chalk Couture products will be in the description box below. You guys should really see the March Club Couture transfer. It's super cute. It's a barn. That link is also in the description box below. So once I was done transferring on my little saying, then I took some jute and wrapped it around the collar of my bunny. And then to finish this off, here we are. I mentioned this in the beginning that I folded this ribbon over on itself twice to kind of make the ribbon smaller. Now you can cut this down and your edges will fray, which probably would look cute, but I just decided to glue this and then I kind of folded it like a cancer ribbon and made a bow, tying it in the middle with some jute. Once I was done, then I just cut off the excess and made little dovetails in the edges. And then I glued it down to the middle where I wrapped the jute around the neck. And that was it for this one, you guys. I think it is so super cute. I cannot wait to decorate the new house for Easter. I'm getting really excited. So me and my friend, like I said, have a really fun bet going on in a week. We voted on who we think or which project we think is going to be a fan favorite. I'm not going to tell you guys. And in a week, I will go in the comment section. I will pick out the majority winner. And from that list, I will randomly choose one winner and send you guys some happy mail. So let me know if you guys think that would be a fun thing to do every week. I was trying to come up with something fun we could all do together every week and here is what I came up with. So let me know what you guys think. I'm always curious to know and I'm always wrong by the way what I think you guys are going to love. You guys always love the opposite. So if you guys enjoy my content I would appreciate if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow and helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. And if nobody has told you today you are absolutely stunning. You are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.